Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration, this time with a Star Wars twist. Now, as always, you guys, just a few things before we get started. First up, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you're a fan of Star Wars. Now, on to this week's shout outs. The first person who correctly guessed Star Wars theme was Unpredictable Beauty KC. And the Instagram shout out goes to Sarah. Now for next week's shout out, I have another challenge for you. I would like you to tell me what your favorite lunch is. Go ahead and leave that in the comments down below and I'll try to make that lunch and then give you the shout out. Now let's get started. Hi guys and welcome to Monday. Good morning friends. Right now I don't have any of the kids with me because it is six o'clock in the morning and they're still sleeping. But I wanted to wake up a little bit earlier today to make these special lunches. Let me show you how I made them. For our sandwich today, I'm making a PB&J, of course, but today I'm using a very special peanut butter. This is actually peanut-free wow butter. I've had lots of requests to show some allergy-friendly lunches, but you guys, it actually tastes really good. My kids can even take it to their nut-free campus. Now, of course, for today's lunches, I've also made these sandwiches into a Darth Vader shape. I got these really fun cookie cutters off of Amazon, and I'll link them down below if you'd like to check them out. Now, to go along with today's lunch, I also included this really cute little pick. Now, this is meant for cupcakes, and I put it in there just for fun, but it's a little lightsaber. Now, I know he's supposed to have a red one, technically, but I don't have three red ones, so. A green one, a red one, and a blue one will have to do. Over in this container, I have a hard boiled egg, and I use my star-shaped mold because of Star Wars, of course. Back over here, I just have some sliced up strawberries, and over here, I have lots of black olives. I'm going with a red and black theme for Darth Vader, and I put these on cute little pigs with BB-8 on them. And then I have these cute little containers which were actually left over from Easter since that was a week ago now. But inside, I went ahead and put some dry craisins. My kids love craisins, especially Lily, so I put some extra in hers. And they just work perfectly for little snacks. And then of course, I have my porgs. I love the porgs, they are so cute. So I tried my best to make some myself, which I actually made last night because I take a little bit of time to make. I started with a Madeline cookie, and then I used a combination of melted white chocolate, melted regular chocolate, and some orange frosting. For his cute little eyes, I just took some regular candy eyeball sprinkles, and I colored them in with my food marker. These guys are almost too cute to eat. I love them. I can't wait to hear the kids' reaction. To go along with today's lunches, I have a very special drink. I found three of these really fun Darth Vader juice bottles. Now this one is actually a fruit and veggie blend, and the other two are just 100% apple juice. And the cool thing about these is that there's no added sugar, it's 100% juice. Well, actually this one has vegetables and juice, and the kids really like them, and they're reusable, and that's what we like to do. We know the kids are gonna be excited to see these. Now, technically, we are still on spring break this week, so I don't need to put these into the lunch boxes, but because lunch is still several hours away, I will go ahead and put a lid on and stick them in the fridge. Okay, friends, it's several hours later, and I'm ready to give the kids their lunch, but I want them to come see first. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Come see. Cool. Dark Vader. It is. You guys know what this is? No. It's a porg. We'll have to definitely watch that movie together so you can know what I'm talking about. But it's so cute. This is actually a cookie with chocolate on there and some candy sprinkle eyes. Are you guys hungry? Yeah! And after lunch, we'll show you what we eat. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and I have Mackenzie and Jackson here helping me. So hello. Uh, hello. So what did you think of today's lunch? Really good. Uh-huh. What was your favorite part? The sandwich. And the craisins. I liked the pork cookie. The pork cookie, oh good. Oh yeah, I like this too. 
Well, I think Mackenzie did really well. Jackson did pretty good. He only has a few olives left. And Lily, I probably gave her too much. She has some of her sandwich left and some of her, well, one piece of strawberry and one olive. But did you guys know that I used a different kind of peanut butter today? No. Could you could you tell? Yeah. Did it taste good? Yeah. It did? It was this wow butter. So there's actually no peanuts in here. So you could take this to your school and it would be totally fine. That's what my friend Abby brings to school. Yeah, it's actually pretty tasty. I was surprised. We'll see you tomorrow, friends. Hi, Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. So I just finished making today's lunch. What do you girls think? Cool! Do you know who this guy is? BB-8? Yes, he's so cute! For today's lunch, I started by making this really cute cheese sandwich in the shape of BB-8. And for this, I used several different sizes of circle cookie cutters. And I basically just cut them out. And then for BB-8's head, I trimmed off a little bit. And then I took some extra cheese and I actually used my flower shaped cookie cutter because I thought that would be a lot easier to decorate the front of him. For his little headpiece, I used some little strips of cheese and a black olive. Now to go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some cucumbers and I went ahead and cut these into the shape of a star for Star Wars. It's really easy to do this and I like to save the extra cucumber pieces for salads later. Over here I have some blueberries on these really cute picks. And then in this little container, I have some special Cheez-Its. These are the Star Wars edition, and each little cracker has a fun character shape on the front. I found these at Target. And then I have an extra special treat in this little snack holder. I made some really easy marshmallow stormtroopers. For this, I just took a food writer pen. This is Edible Food Ink. And I tried my best to draw a little stormtrooper face. These came out really cute and they were really easy. Now to go along with today's lunch, I also have some really special juices. These juices can sometimes be hard to find. So if you're looking for them, try Target in the little snack cafe area in the front of the store. Do you girls wanna see the surprise? Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. It's a little bit tricky to get open. Inside. A marshmallow. It's a little marshmallow. And you can totally eat it. This is edible ink. Cool. This lunch looks amazing. See you after lunch. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. So I can definitely tell that I packed a little bit too much today. Everybody has a little bit of something left. Mackenzie has some crackers, although they're still good. She can eat them later. Jackson has one bite of sandwich, a few blueberries, and some crackers as well. But Lily did really well. Did you really like your sandwich? Uh-huh. But she has a few blueberries and a little piece of cucumber and a couple of crackers. Okay, what was your favorite part? Um, the juice and the marshmallow. Oh, the juice, yeah. Everybody drank their juice. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Welcome to Wednesday. Today's lunch turned out really fun. Let me show you how I made it. I started by making some really fun vegetables. I used some carrots and some celery, and I cut these into long sticks because I wanted them to look like lightsabers. So I used a little piece of aluminum foil and I wrapped it around the bottom of each veggie stick. And there you have it, a cute little lightsaber stick. Of course, the kids have to take the foil off before they can eat it. Now to go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some really fun chicken nuggets. I found these Star Wars chicken nuggets at my local grocery store, and they come in really fun shapes. There's BB-8, the Millennial Falcon, and R2-D2. For the sweet treat today, I'm giving the kids one little cinnamon bun because it reminds me of Princess Leia's hair. For the fruit today, I'm keeping it simple and I'm just giving the kids some cut up strawberries and a few pieces of a mandarin orange. Oh yes, and then there's the mac and cheese. I found this really fun Star Wars mac and cheese at Walmart. So I just cooked it up as you normally would do with mac and cheese. And I just gave the kids a couple of spoonfuls each since they also have the chicken nuggets and everything else. 
I also have a snack for the kids in these cute little containers. I just put a few pumpkin seeds. Right now I have Mackenzie, Lily, and Jackson here with me. Say hi. 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 So what do you think of today's lunch? Cool. I'm surprised you guys did really well. I felt like I was I might be giving them too much food, but you can tell they did really well. What'd you think of the mac and cheese? It was really good. Yeah, I don't normally buy craft, but the kids really liked it, so I might do that again. I see that Mackenzie ate everything. She just left a little bit of ketchup. That's fine. And Jackson as well. And Lily, you did a good job. Did you share any with Griffin? Uh-huh. You did. I well, shared one chicken nugget. You shared one chicken nugget? What was your favorite part? This macaroni and cheese, this fruit salad. And the cinnamon bun? Uh-huh. Did it make you think of Princess Leia with uh -huh. your cinnamon bun hair? Uh-huh. What did you like, Mackenzie? I like the cinnamon roll, too. Yeah. What was your favorite, Jack? I really liked the light for vegetables, and I also liked the, hmm, it was the cinnamon roll. The cinnamon roll, yeah. Uh -huh. And the mac and cheese, too. Overall, they did so well today, and I can't wait till they see you tomorrow's lunch. It's gonna be super fun and green. And we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'm a pig, and happy Thursday. <laughs> today's lunch turned out really fun, and it has a Yoda theme. So I started by decorating my boxes with some really cute napkins and some cupcake liners. I made these really cool cheese and cracker TIE Fighters. I started with some multi-grain wheat thins and some cheddar and mozzarella cheese sticks. Then I used a little bit of cream cheese as my glue. And there you have it, a super cool TIE Fighter snack. For the fruit today, I wanted to keep it really simple but still with the Yoda theme, so I thought these green kiwis would be perfect. I also made some really fun Yoda quesadillas. For this, I took an extra large spinach tortilla and I used my Yoda cookie cutter to cut out the pieces. I also cut out some cheddar cheese, now these quesadillas are actually meant to be served cold. My kids are totally fine with that. So I basically just stuck some cheese in it, heated it up, and threw it in the lunchbox. For our special treat today, I have some green jello, which I don't make very often, and these didn't come out super easily, so I might need some practice with that. But this is actually Star Wars jello I found at Walmart, and it's actually berry flavored, not lime. For an added snack today, I'm also giving the kids some of these chocolate Teddy Grahams, and I thought that these would be perfect for today's lunch because they remind me of Ewoks. And then in my little containers, I just have a few dried apricots. Lunch is over now, and here's what we eat. <laughs> now, as you can probably tell, I have all three of the oldest kids with me, and they're like a little choir. <laughs> Good job, guys. And as you can tell, they did a really good job with their lunch today. I see that Jackson left a little bit of his quesadilla and a couple of crackers, but everyone else ate everything, including the jello, which was a little bit messy. That's okay. So Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the crackers. What was your favorite, Jackson? I like the cheese in the middle of the crackers. They're good. Oh yeah, that was a different kind of string cheese. It actually was mozzarella and cheddar together. I think they're really tasty too. Hey guys, and happy Friday! Yay! For today's lunch, I went with an R2-D2 theme. I'm giving the kids some blueberry yogurt. To the yogurt, I added just a few blueberries and some really cute Yoda sprinkles. For our vegetable today, I'm just giving the kids a few pieces of celery. And then the star of the show is definitely our sandwich. Let me show you how I made them. I used my R2-D2 cookie cutter to cut out my bread and my cheese. I also added some mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, and some sliced turkey. And then to keep our sandwich together, I added these really fun picks. I'm also giving the kids some of these Star Wars pop chips. And inside you can find all different shapes like BB-8, a Stormtrooper, a TIE Fighter, and the Millennium Falcon. And these are actually cheddar flavored, they're really good. 
In our little snack containers today, I'm just putting a little bit of this non-sweet trail mix. There's some nuts in there, some chickpeas, and some edamame. Oh yes, and I do have a really special treat today. I made some lightsaber pretzels. Let me show you how I made them. I just took some of these whole wheat pretzel rods from Trader Joe's and added a little bit of melted white chocolate. Then I added some colorful sprinkles, some blue and some red. For our drinks today, we're reusing our bottles, but today they just have water. Okay guys, lunchtime is over now and we definitely had a couple of issues with today's lunch. The first being this little trail mix. Kenzie, do you wanna tell them what happened? Yeah, I was eating some of those and one of them was spicy. Yeah, so I bought these in the bulk bins at a store called Winco and I didn't actually see that they were spicy and I gave them to the kids. So, sorry kids. <laughs> were they really, really spicy or just kind of spicy? Kind of spicy. Yeah. The other issue was the celery. Was it really bitter, sour? Yeah. yeah. So it's okay with me that they didn't eat a bunch of it. It's pretty bitter. But overall, Mackenzie ate everything else. Jackson did pretty well. He has a few of his pop chips left, but he ate everything else. And Lily did really well. She ate most of her sandwich, but not the celery, and a few extra chips. So Jackson, what was your favorite part? I like the yogurt and these. You like the spicy trail mix? Mm -hmm. Ooh. We hope you like Star Wars Week, and we'll see you next time. Okay guys, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Star Wars character is. Now if you'd like to see last week's video where I shared lots of dinner ideas, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, which was a home decor haul, you can do that by clicking on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.